Okay, in this video, uh, differential test drive is conducted for the differential lock on the curb. In the rear wheel drive, tractor mass is uh, 600 kg, and velocity is uh, 15 km per hour. Friction coefficient, a mu, is changed from 0 0.4 to 1. And the front foil angle and the left is uh, minus 36 degree to 51 degree and the right foil minus 51 degree to 36 degree. And driver model, we employ preview driving model. Then preview time is set as one sec. The peripheral speed of the left and the right foil is the same due to the uh, differential lock. Therefore, slip on the inside left field produce attraction forces, and skid on the outer right field produce braking forces. The first slide. The first slide is for the coefficient of the friction is 1. Here, the front field is enter the curve. The inner free on the left uh, generates attraction forces, and the uh, outer free on the right generates the uh, braking forces. As you can see, the yellow vector, the vector for vertical forces of the front field are very small due to the weight transfer uh, by the implementation implements. Therefore, the lateral forces of the front wheel are not sufficient to support the moment caused by the traction and the braking forces of the rear wheels. As a result, the uh, vehicle ran off to the right and fall down. The large amount of load steering angle have no use to uh, prevent the under steering accident. Okay, this slide, we remove the uh, implement and uh, the, let's see the case on the tractor uh, running along. The load friction coefficient is still the same at 1. There is a sufficient vertical load acting on the front wheel. This gives the front wheel sufficient lateral forces to support the moment created by the uh, traction and braking forces from the rear front wheels. The steering angle of the front wheel is uh, at most uh, 20 degree. Slide 4. So, how low can the coefficient of friction can be for the single tractor? This is assuming here we uh, set up the coefficient of friction as a 0 0.4. In this case, the coefficient of the friction is too small for the front wheel to generate lateral forces needed to support the moment generated by the rear wheels and the centrifugal forces trying. This is a slide 5. Here, a 100 kg front loader are equipped on the same tractor. Coefficient of friction is still 0 0.4. As shown by the yellow vectors, a vertical load, front wheel vertical load is quite large, and then the vertical load of the Rearfoil is uh, small. This created enough lateral forces to uh, lateral forces and uh, front, on the front field to balance the rotational moment. Then the vehicle turned the car safely. As you can see at uh, the uh, rear foil lateral forces are small because of the 
the foil vector about curved uh, forces as relatively small. Slide six. In the previous slide, slide five, and we confirm the increasing the load on the front fill is effective. Therefore, 50 kilogram balance weight is equipped on the tractor. Uh, tractor has uh, equipped uh, 200 kilogram implement as shown slide 2. Here, friction is uh, set up uh, 1 at the same as uh, slide 2. As you can see, the tractor is uh, successfully turned the curve because of the addition of the balance weight, 50 kg. Slide 7. What happened? And friction is reduced to uh, 0 0.8. At that case, A truck that cannot turn the curve, it is run off at the almost end of the year. Uh, uh, this is a 75 degree point of the curve. This is a slide eight. However, the friction of question is uh, reduced to. 8, 0 0.8, then and uh, we use the, uh, we reduce the weight of the uh, implement 200 kilogram to 100 kilogram. Then what happened? At this case, tractor can turn the curve safely because of the, we reduce the uh, uh, mass of the implement 200 kilogram to 100 kilogram. Slide 9. Let's look at the limitation of the coefficient of the friction in this case. Uh, I mean here 100 kilogram implement was equipped on the same tractor. With a coefficient fric uh, friction coefficient reduced to a 0 0.73, then what happened? In this case, tractor turned the curve safely. However, please look at the uh, end of the curve. It's a little bit under stair. Therefore, the load fill angle uh, increased to the uh, almost 30. Then, and uh, interestingly, longitudinal force left and the right, and this is uh, left, it's a uh, flexion, light is uh, breaking, it's changed at the end of the uh, uh, cup. It's mean in the recovery is have been done here. Then in the next slide, we reduce the uh, uh, correlation co uh, frank, uh, friction coefficient 0 0.72, only 0 0.01 change. What happened? In this case, tractor was not able to turn the curb. Almost at the end of the curb, it's land off. That is, uh, we have to recognize only very small changes of the friction coefficient Ch change the uh, situation of the tractor dramatically. That is, uh, sensitive dependency of the parameter of the vehicle nonlinear dynamics. Okay, this is the last slide. 
And this slide shows reference. It means friction, uh, we, uh, differential lock was released, I mean unlocked. Differential uh, gear is activated. Then friction is reduced to uh, 0 0.5 and still 200 kilogram implement was equipped. At this case, what happened is even in a very small frictional coefficient and the tractor with a very large 200 kilogram implement was able to go around the curve. However, as you can see, as uh, road field angle increase almost become a 30 degree, then after the curve, they at the end of the curve, they show the recovery uh, steering. However, it is very clear a uh, longitudinal rear forces for left and right, both of them are quite small. Uh, this is an please compare the previous slide it's the previous uh, differential lock cases and both of them are beyond the 2000 newtons however this is very small uh, 100 newton 200 newton as uh, 10 times or the 20 times smaller than that happened in differential locked curve case in this through this video, we already know the the lock should be released when uh, tractor traveling uh, condition. However, how differential lock are dangerous on a landing curved road? Okay, this is the end of this lecture. Thank you.